If you've ever experienced a home invasion or perhaps wondered how safe your kids were when you went out, you've probably wondered about guard dogs. And if you thought about a guard dog, I'm sure you've asked the question, is the English Mastiff right for me? I mean, why wouldn't you? What's a better choice to defend your home than the largest dog in history? With the heart of a true gentleman behind all of that sheer brawn. It's when we entertain that idea for more than just a passing moment that our story can begin. Because rushing into the decision of bringing any dog is, as you probably know, a very unwise move. So if you're sitting there with a big old empty space in front of that fireplace at the start of your story and you're wondering is the gargantuan mastiff the breed to choose to have by your side to love you to defend you for as long as he shall live you need to be asking the right questions do you have the right equipment for such an enormous dog the right skill set and mindset to approach giant daft puppy parenting is the mastiff the right size and energy level for your home and lifestyle friendly enough with the kids going to cope with the stream of visitors you have every week this is a dog who matures incredibly slowly whilst growing literally a kilo a week before he reaches a year old and is bigger than you if you think about it honestly right now before we begin do you have the mental and physical prowess to take responsibility for a literal giant now these are absolutely the right questions to have and before we get into all of that let's think about how we got here with this breed how have you come to fall for this breed what makes the mastiff so magical as an extremely rare breed in this country on the kennel club's vulnerable native breeds list in fact most people's impression of the mastiff come from the internet and the media do you look into those mournful deep-set eyes gazing at you from beneath the deep wrinkles of that black mask and think about the ancient Pugnax Britannica, the historical heavyweight who was the cast in the arena to take on lions and then the battlefield to take on legions, or of the world record holding Zorba who tipped the scales at 156 kilos but who still insisted on being a lapdog to his poor owner? Maybe you've heard that the English Mastiff has for centuries been revered for his innate gentleness and fondness for both women and children, a trait that could never have been bred for with any consistency, but which still somehow found a solid foothold in their genome. Now, as a Mastiff owner myself, I can't argue with any of that. There's no denying the glorious mystique of the gentle giant trope encapsulated so perfectly in one dog and there's no getting away from the fact that it is still a guardian through and through but there's more to this picture much more and if you don't prepare yourself and your home for the onslaught of the rest of the picture then you're bringing home a wrecking ball no question the english mastiff developed from a long and ancient line of hunting fighting and military dogs that took up the mantle as protectors of grand english estates so it's not a dog who takes kindly to strangers unless he's been raised to do that fire of protection to mere embers and even then the dna of guardianship runs deep so getting them kenneled or visited by dog walkers while you're elsewhere is no easy task Throughout history, with the rise of dog showing, the Mastiff was bred to be ever more massive and is now way beyond the hold of most collars, most crates and most cars and in need of supersized bowls, bin bags for number two bags and winter coats originally designed for horses and cattle. This kind of sheer mass isn't for everyone. It breaks suspension systems in cars and breaks the bank from vet bills and food bills. And all of this is before we consider the fact that the wonderful low energy that Mastiffs are famed for doesn't apply while they're puppies, especially during adolescence when they're already pony sized. So what can you possibly do to make it work and lead this true titan into a life of exemplary behavior? Now again, that is the right question to ask. Now, none of this is to say that the Mastiff should be off limits. On the contrary, in spite of all the issues that come with giant guardian breeds, I recommend the Mastiff more than most any other dogs of this size in this category, and even took my own advice by bringing Queen Eileen into me and my family's life. 
there's hope yet for this magnificent breed. With the right kind of upbringing, an upbringing where the dog is socialized to all the sounds, sights, smells, and surfaces in its world, under his loving leader's steady guiding hand, an upbringing where this monstrous mass of muscle learns impeccable manners at every door, in waiting for every meal, and around every person, family or stranger, an upbringing where both brain and body are stimulated through the right kind of exercise, and the basic obedience training that ensures total control, that is where we're heading if we want to do right by our Mastiffs and have the dog of our dreams. But what does that actually look like? Well, because I love Mastiffs dearly and because as a canine behaviorist, specializing in rehabilitation of guardian breeds gone wrong, I see how every day it can easily go wrong. And to help with that, I created completely free of charge, my principles of perfect puppy training. So you can get it right first time and never have to come to somebody like me. I've made it absolutely free of charge to help as many prospective owners as possible. So make sure you check that out. There'll be a link in the description box below that you can go and check out after this video. But a happy, well-raised, well-trained English Mastiff is an absolute pleasure to behold and makes every agonizing second of training with this slow-witted love bug of a dog feel absolutely worth it. He is your enormous doorstep, a pinnacle of zen in your home. With the foundational exercise and training you're taking him through every day, his muscle tone is excellent. His mind is stable and at peace. He guards your home with confidence and precision, never too fast or too reckless, never too slow to engage, but too fast to resolve things. He sits and waits for his meals and at every threshold, he approaches by your side, knowing that all good things in life are going to come through your loving leadership. His mind is stimulated by your basic obedience work and the vocation he's been given, instilling a sense of value in this monster who is so eager to please. With some rigorous socialization and just the basics in obedience and some daily exercise, you've got a tired Mastiff. And a tired Mastiff is a happy Mastiff with a happy family behind them. Now, if that sounds like your happy ending, then again, don't forget to check that completely free course, My Principles of the Perfect Puppy Training. It's in the link in the description box below because that is absolutely within reach for you. If that's the kind of Mastiff you're looking for, come along and I can't wait to see you there.